you suffer anxiety, there's a good chance that you also suffer from a gastrointestinal disorder. Anxiety has been linked with IBS, dyspepsia, constipation, GERD, and even belching disorder. Whether anxiety is the cause of these conditions or an effect of these conditions seems to be still under debate in the medical community. But certainly, if you are suffering from these conditions, it is very likely to be causing you some anxiety, or at least making your anxiety worse. So in this video, I'm going to explain how anxiety can cause problems with your digestive system, as I know many people with anxiety worry that their symptoms are something more serious, even when their doctor has told them that it's not. Our brain and gut communicate through the gut-brain axis. The vagus nerve plays a crucial role in this communication, sending signals between the brain and the digestive system. When we're anxious, our brain activates the fight-or-flight response, releasing stress hormones like adrenaline and cortisol. These hormones prepare our body to deal with perceived threats, but they also affect our digestive system. Adrenaline increases our heart rate and redirects blood flow away from the digestive system toward our muscles and heart. This can slow down digestion, leading to symptoms like bloating, nausea and stomach cramps. Conversely, adrenaline can also stimulate the stomach lining to produce more acid in an effort to speed up digestion of any food in the stomach, to free up energy to fight or run from the perceived threat. It can also heighten sensitivity in the digestive tract, making us more aware of discomfort and pain. This increased sensitivity can make normal digestive processes feel uncomfortable, a phenomenon known as visceral hypersensitivity, which is common in conditions like irritable bowel syndrome. Secondly, cortisol, the primary stress hormone, can affect the movement and contractions of the gastrointestinal tract. This can speed up or slow down bowel movements. If it speeds up, you get diarrhea. If it slows down, you get constipation. But this communication between the brain and the gut is two-way, and there is increasing evidence that the gut itself can influence our emotions and anxiety levels through its own production of neurotransmitters. About 90% of the body's serotonin is produced in the gut. Although the role of serotonin in anxiety is debated, it probably does play some part. So when our gut health is compromised due to anxiety, it can impact serotonin levels, which makes anxiety worse, creating a vicious cycle. So while it is easy to think that these awful symptoms are caused by some horrible disease, it really is just your body doing what it's designed to do when it perceives that you are in danger. So what can you do? Well, of course, you can take medications for the symptoms, but that doesn't solve the root cause. Mindfulness meditation, the progressive relaxation technique, and self-hypnosis can all help you relax, and you can learn how to do these on my channel. If you suffer IBS, I have a specific gut-directed hypnosis video that many people find helps. A healthy diet and exercise may also help, but since your symptoms are being caused by the body's natural response to perceiving that you're in danger, the best solution is to teach your brain that your body is not in danger. And the best way to do that is with cognitive behavioural therapy. There's not time to explain how it works in this short video, but you'll find hundreds of videos teaching the principles of CBT on my channel. I hope you found this video useful. If so, please give me a like and tell me how your anxiety has affected your digestive system in the comments below. Take care now.